everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider 2 Remastered playthrough. Today we are playing Wreck of the Maria Doria. I am so scared and so nervous, but let's just get this sharky hell over with. I am really excited to see what the Maria Doria looks like though, and also I decided to wear my Fiamanira necklace today, so I'm feeling like I fit in pretty well now. <laughs> okay, oh she looks gorgeous. She is so pretty so pretty okay so i know there's a frog man although as i was saying in the comments um on my last few videos the frog man actually scare me a lot less now i used to be terrified of them when i was a child like just as scared of them as i was of sharks and everything but now actually they more just annoy me maybe it's because i can see them better and i can see that they're just men in diving suits and yeah they're just irritating so come on then is he still in that tunnel there he is would you come on i'm not wasting harpoons on you <gasps> He would you point at him, Lara? He what the hell? Point at him. He's stuck. He is stuck. He's stuck. We're glitching. He's stuck. Lara's not pointing. We're at a stalemate. We're at a stalemate, and I am not willing to give in. At least we're getting a nice a nice good look at him but um hello he 100 percent he's stuck he is absolutely stuck there oh now i'm shooting him there we go haha <laughs> our soul enjoy being stuck in the steel No way. No way was I letting him win that. Absolutely not. Right, that was weird. We got more glitches. I don't know what it is with me. For anyone who's kind of newly to my channel because of the remasters, no matter what game it is that I play, I will find the glitches. I will get the most bizarre glitches for some reason. So I do apologize. <laughs> and actually, in my last Tomb Raider 2 playthrough I did on the channel, I got a glitch in this level where the inventory was upside down, just like the Maria Doria. <laughs> that was a really cool glitch, actually, though. I really enjoyed that. Right. Um. I never do this properly. No, there we go. Just, I see, I tried to flip. I tried to flip, but it didn't work. How do you, how do you do that without taking as much damage? I've no idea. Anyway, right, okay. So, hmm, this looks pretty much the same. Yeah. Okay, this looks this looks the same. Mm. Okay, this is not quite as impressive as I was expecting it to be. Like it's nice, it's nice, but Oh god, he's got a gun. Flippin' heck! Hit me head! Would you stop hitting me? Oh Jesus! I really need to stop using pistols for everything. Uh -huh. Anyway. Um Yeah, I don't know. I was expecting it to look uh -huh. to look a bit fancier, but you look we're in the first room. We're in the first room. It could get it could get nicer. So let's not panic. But yeah, so basically the Maria Doria was initially supposed to be the Titanic when they were thinking up and developing these levels. Eventually they changed it so the ship wasn't the Titanic, I presume just so it made sense that Gianni owned the ship because Gianni wouldn't have 
owned Titanic. Even though they changed the name of the ship to a fictional one, the Maria Doria, they still kept a lot of the ideas of Titanic. So, you know, when Titanic sank, it split into two and the two parts sank down into the ocean. So that's exactly what happened with the Maria Doria. So it's split in two. Half of it turned upside down. So we're in the upside down half now. And half of it remained the right way up. So that just explains how all of this section is upside down basically. And then when we go into later sections, it's the right way up again. But yeah, this is the upside down pool, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's the diving board that I just smacked my head off there. But anyway, let's get a secret. Oops, I, I'm hitting my head off everything. Doesn't matter, let's keep going. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, hang on, there's a, there's a guy here now. That's the wrong button. Right, and I want my... I want my flare back. Gosh, she looks amazing in that diving suit. Like, the difference is crazy. She looks so strong and athletic in the remaster. Like, she looked strong and athletic before, but now she looks extra strong and athletic. I really like it. She looks more like her legend underworld model. Oh god. Oh jeez. Heavy breather again. Do not shoot me. Flip. Would you stop? The absolute brudeness. And again, why are they wearing sunglasses? It's flipping dark down here. Look, they're clearly stupid. So, whatever. Right, so this is a big pulley blocky puzzle. This is going to take a while. Might as well... Sit back and relax <laughs> while we wait for Lara to pull all these blocks. I the, the pattern on the walls, they look kind of like hangers, don't they? Like clothes hangers? I don't know. That's just what is in my head. Oh, I hate that noise she makes when she pulls the block. Oh, by the way, Thank you everyone so much for being so, like, interested in my orange tree. <laughs> I have literally never been so excited about something as I am about this orange tree and doing, like, an Italian theme on my balcony. I have loads of plans for the apartment now that we can actually afford it after buying furniture. I have so many plans that I want to do for the apartment, so many projects and stuff. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want me to keep just sharing little bits and pieces of it because like I've never done this before. I've never owned a home before. And when we rented, I never bothered doing anything to rentals because I was like, well, we could be kicked out at any moment and we don't own it, so what's the point? So this is the first time I've done anything like this and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, do let me know if you would like me to keep sharing little updates, maybe pictures and stuff uh, of what I'm doing because I will definitely do that. I am too excited. <laughs> anyway, back to, back to Tomb Raider. I'm getting so distracted. <gasps> oh, this is nice. Look at that! Oh Jesus, there's another one! Ugh. 
Yeah, you just have to get one mm. more heavy breath in before you died. You couldn't just leave it. Uh -huh. Of course not. Right, okay. You. The other guy has nothing. It's so funny, they look like twins. Anyway, this carpet is gorgeous. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see the upside down ballroom. Oh, it looks cool. Gotcha. I I love the carpet. I really, really do. Ooh. Look, they put the carpet. Carpety. Whoa, that is shaking. That is shaking so bad. The carpety and the tiley details. Oh, and they made the tiles look dirty. I like that. Okay, I'm liking, I'm liking the details in here a lot more than in the pool room. I feel like they, they, oops, I feel like they did a bit more, a bit more with it. Okay, just carefully avoid that glass. Or sorry, the bit we're walking on is not the carpet, it's the ceiling. But either way, it looks it looks really good. <laughs> so I think if I jump forward, do I have to go back a bit? If I jump forward and grab, can I get in here? I'm stuck. No, that's too far. Oh jeez. Right, okay, I'm gonna I'm go oh, do you know what actually I think it is? I know you can just drop down from the other side, but I think actually you just run. That was it. That was it. Uh -huh. You just run. Run into it. Sorted. Okay. And then I don't think there's much point in climbing up now, so we will we will come back here later. <laughs> Hello? Is there anyone in here? <gasps> Drippy water sound is so creepy. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, <gasps> that's such a difference. That looks awesome with the bits of light coming through and everything. <gasps> and they made it, oh, they made it look so dirty and so old. They definitely completely upped the creep factor in this level, which I really, really like. Um, it just seems so much more spooky. And yeah, this is obviously, I don't know, the dining room or something with the chairs or the tables still stuck on the ceiling. So awesome. And all the doors upside down. Oh, you can actually really tell they're upside down now. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oops. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, we got stuck on the chair again. Uh oh. I ran out of automatic ammo, did I? Oh. Right, fine. Fine then. Awesome. And the little the little light fixture is upside down as well. Oh, I just love it. And we need to close this again. 
so we can get something in there later. Okay, geez, I'm hitting off everything in this room. Okay, I need to I need to get a better gun. We've got zero. We've got M16. We don't have the grenade launcher back yet. Okay, we'll just do Uzis for the moment. Oh, she looks so good and in here in particular i think looks really really good you can see the huge huge difference that's so cool yeah they really upped the atmosphere which i appreciate and all the all the paintings and everything upside down although i have to say Whatever make these windows are should be sold everywhere. The fact that they can withstand water pressure on the the ocean floor and not break. That is that is truly amazing. Actually, it's really funny because um when I was a kid, one of my favorite films was oddly enough Titanic. I used to watch that over and over again and sometimes okay it's gonna make me sound like a little bit of a psycho sometimes i would just skip ahead to the part where the boat started uh -huh. sinking because i just really enjoyed that bit i thought it was so cool and exciting even though i'd always cry at the end when leonardo dicaprio died but anyway um yeah i loved i loved that movie so much and because of playing Tomb Raider 2, uh -huh. I thought for sure, well, why is everyone panicking? Why can't they just stay inside the bow? And then they'll be fine. Like, stay inside here and they'll be grand. Like, like with this level in Tomb Raider. I did not understand that glass breaks underwater pressure so yeah i was always kind of wondering why everyone was panicking so much instead of just going inside the boat and you know waiting to be rescued but that was just me being silly really and i've just noticed here was that there before they were so fuzzy you couldn't see them but that is a little picture of the titanic i think that's awesome little easter egg and this woman has appeared a few times i wonder who she is I wonder if she's someone, someone who was on the Titanic or something. That would be interesting to find out. Whoops. Okay. Anyway, that that that's enough. That's enough talking about the Titanic. Let's let's refocus. Maria Doria. This is, this is what we're doing. Okay. Oh, okay. I remember this bit. Sailor noise. Um, yeah, so this room is just empty. It's like a trick room. To drive you insane i guess because tomb raider likes to do that so we're just gonna ignore that one oops okay obviously did not have enough room there to roll and turn around it's okay we're fine running out of ammo using all my medipacks what could go what could go wrong it's fine I have been really good at my flares though in fair oh geez I don't think I was supposed to do oh yeah I was um yeah I have been really good at my flares because I do not want a repeat of the last Tomb Raider 2 playthrough where as soon as I got to spider cave in temple of Xi'an I ran out of flares and I had to do the whole cave in the dark 
That was not fun. So I'm not going to do that this time. If I can help it. Oh god, her poor feet. They must be getting crushed a bit by that block and everything. Oh god. Really hope Lara is up to date on her tetanus shots. Did I hear someone walk in there? Okay, I'm getting nervous now. I need to take a medipack. pack. Huh. Oh, that's where one of the doors... Leads out. I knew I heard someone shuffling around. Nothing. Right, that has to be going over her toes a little bit. Her poor little tootsies. Uh -huh. Let's not question the physics of how that key isn't completely crushed. <laughs> not gonna question it. Okay. Right, and then I don't think we open that. I'm not sure to be honest. Oh, that's the one. That's the one we just walked past that was closed. Okay, so we don't need that one. Aha, did it properly this time. Where am I moving this then? Over here. Okay. Oh, no, need to pull it this way first. <laughs> Whoops. Uh yeah, so there's there's not much difference in these rooms, but to be honest, what could they really do? <laughs> you know, it's just a uh, it's just a rusty metal parts of the shit. Do you know what I'm looking forward to seeing? I'm looking forward to seeing that bit over the glass filled water, if that makes any sense, um, where you can see the sharks swimming below. I think that'll look really, really cool. So I'm excited to see that. I hope they did something cool with it. The better of. Or I'll be annoyed. I'm suffering through water levels so I can see cool stuff. <laughs> I wanna see cool stuff. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I remember where I am now. Oh! Awesome. <gasps> I hate that shuffling. Stop with your shuffling. <laughs> right, that put an end to that, didn't it? Are they coming yet? Um, yeah, they are. Oh, this looks so rusty. Oh, her poor feet. Oh God. Oh God, it looks, it looks so rusty. Oh, Lara. Couldn't you have even put on a pair of swim socks or something? Like swim socks are great. My, <laughs> my parents used to always make me and my sister wear swim socks anytime we went swimming because 
Like, it makes sense. It just, it protects your feet, stops you from getting, like, infections, like, verrucas and Ooh. things like that. So I'm just saying, Lara could do with a pair. A pair of swim socks. She really could. But then, to be honest, I'm a complete germaphobe, so that's uh, that's probably why. And also, I'm never at a swimming pool, so I, <laughs> I haven't been to a swimming pool in I don't know seven years or something. Clearly, swimming is not my favorite thing to do. Clearly. But this this trap is a nice um what's the word? Do you say it's not homage, it's homage. It's a nice homage to the Tomb Raider 1 secret where you flippy flip over the the lava pit. I really like it. Right. <laughs> This is the one I wanted to see. But... I would just stop. Right. Can I hear someone else shuffling? I don't know. I don't know, but we're timed, so let's shake a leg. Shake a leg. Oh, the light coming in is so nice. Success. Um. Okay, I want to... Well, I want to look at this water. And then I do want to check these fellas for pickups. Uh -huh. Okay, one measly medipack. Thanks for that. So, oh. Okay, we can't, oh, we can't see it so good. Oh, look at this shark. <gasps> look at the shark shape. Look, it's so much cooler. So much cooler and clearer. Can I hop down here? It's just so eerie because you can just, you can sense how close the danger is. But we're safe for the moment because again, that's obviously industrial strength glass which is great. So, so cool. Okay. Um, right. Push this. Drained that. And then we just have to Get back up. Whoa! Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. It's timed. Oh! That timing's not tight at all, actually. Sure, you've loads of time. You don't need to panic. Don't need to panic at all. I wonder if someone could actually create a mod where Lara has, I don't know, diving shoes or 
or some kind of swim sock on. It would just, it would make me feel better. Yeah, it doesn't, it wouldn't look as good. I mean, her outfit looks awesome with the, the bare feet and stuff. So it wouldn't look as good, but it would just ease my mind. It would ease my mind. Okay, and this is... Where are the... Uh -huh. Last fusey thing. What are they called? Circuit breaker. The last circuit breaker that we need. Can I hear people out there? I don't know. So yeah, if you forgot to open the doors again, your way would be blocked. Um, but they made a handy enough way to get back. There's a trap door that opens here. And you can just drop back down into the room. Actually, I think we can... Yeah, you can just jump. Jesus! Ooh. Oh! Uh -huh. Okay. But yeah, you can just um jump back uh -huh. down into the room, push it, and then jump jump back up. So it's not it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. And then if we want to as well, we can go up here. And come out in this room. But it really doesn't matter. It's uh it's much of a muchness. Much of a muchness. I swear I can just constantly hear people shuffling around now. <laughs> it's making me nervous. Right. Let's go. Eh. Where's the... Mmm, okay. Just stop! Would you cut it out? You arseholes. Uh -huh. <sighs> uh -huh. Although, yeah, okay, uh -huh. so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't do a bit more for this level. Like I think in my last playthrough I was kind of saying wouldn't it have been cool and made sense if there were, you know, skeletons littered all around the place and stuff from the people who died down here and yeah, just like different details like that. Part of me was kind of hoping that they would maybe add stuff in like that. But again, I don't know. That probably goes beyond a remaster. But like adding in a skeleton or two, I think. Should have been. Should have been okay. But anyway, whatever. I'm just being. I'm just being fussy. Just being fussy. The irony of Lara having to work so hard to find these three circuit breakers to turn off the flames when she's surrounded by the entire ocean. That <laughs> surely she could have found some water to put them out. 
I don't know. I'm no engineer, but I'm just saying there had to be an easier way. <laughs> there had to be a quicker way than that. Okay, I know there's a guy hiding in here. Ha. Sweet F all again. Okay. Our... What are they called? Pistons, I think? Our pistons moved. So we can now jump across. To here. Awesome. Okay, the next bit is an absolute nightmare. Let's just, let's just do it. Why is the water so murky? I'm not happy. What you deserved the Uzis. Because you're annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh, sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna have like no Uzi clips left either. I'm just using up all my ammo. Not a care in the world about the future. It's all good. Uh -huh. Right. Oh god! No! It's threat. It's threatening me. It's trying to intimidate me. So, I'm in two minds about if I should kill everything. Or just swim, like outswim them and stuff. I actually think trying to outswim them would be scarier than just killing them. So I think I think I'm gonna just try and kill everything as well. And then doing that we can have all kills. Which would be kind of cool. Ooh! Was that there before? Oh it was. Okay. Just checking. Because I was about to say, well, if they could add that in, then they could definitely add dead bodies. <laughs> but it was already there, so never mind. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the shotgun as well. There it is. Oh. More flares. How am I doing on flares, actually? Do I have a lot? 37. I have a decent amount. I've just trapped myself, haven't I? Yeah. That was not the right way. That was not the right way to go. gonna ignore the laws of physics for this as well. How the hell can a switch that sticks out of the wall be hidden by a block that's flat against the wall? Doesn't matter. Doesn't flip and matter. Okay, um I feel like there's pickle. Pickups around here. Oh, there. Uh -huh. Automatics, just what I needed. Stand there. Stand here. Oh. Sweet Ethel.
send help. Got 30 harpoons. Can I do this? Can I take them out? Go and save it. I can draw! I think I actually got it with the with the harpoon. Was that some blood? I can see them kind of swimming around there. Just wondering if I can aim. Wondering if I can aim at them at all. Oh! Point! Lara! Point! She wouldn't even point at it at all. But she was pointing from this side. Did I get it? Oh, I got one fish! Got one fish. Nice. No, you see the other ones aren't coming now. They're being warned off by the dead one. Right, okay, look, I'm gonna have to just, I'm gonna have to just go in. Just do it. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Don't, 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 don't. Would you? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I can't do this. I can't do this! Sugar! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, I'm not great at this bit now, I have to say. Oh! He's coming, he's coming. Get away from his mouth. Get away from his mouth. Okay, I need... I need to take a medipack, so... Yes! I got one. Oh! <sighs> Hold your nerve. Oh, Jesus! Oh! oh my God. Okay, so I got everything except for one shark. Let's, let's go up for air. Let's, oh! Oh my God. Oh. Okay. That was actually, that was actually decent. Um, okay, I'm gonna save it. How many harpoons do I have left? 14, okay, that should be enough. That should be enough to deal with this. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna kick his ass. Get away from me with your teeth. Oh God. If I shoot your arse, you can't bite me. Ha! In your face. In all your faces. You're all dead. <sighs> Victory. <sighs> I am so, so pleased. So pleased with myself. <laughs> I do actually feel like a fearless member of the Fiamen era right now. Nothing can stop me. Right. So you see, now that they're all dead, I don't have to panic. The worst, most horrible bit is over and I can find this secret without panicking. Okay, so where... Where is it? Oh, here. There we go. I feel so happy. I feel so happy and so accomplished. Okay, let's just keep going and get this over with. Right. Oh, it's so murky. I hate it. 
hate how murky this is. But yeah, the underwater actually just looks pretty much the same as the original. So luckily they didn't make it any scarier because I don't know how I would have coped with that, honestly. Okay, we're done. Let's let's move on. Run away from there. Run away. So where does that key go then? Oh yeah, it opens here. Yeah. Cabin key. And then that drops the trap door. So we can push this. <coughs> Again, I feel like there had to be an easier way to do this that Lara is capable of, but okay. It's okay, we'll go with it. We have to swim with the sharks to get the cabin key. There was no other way. Do you know, I feel like Lara's so crazy adventurous that I feel like she would have just wanted to do that anyway. Even if there was an easier way to do it, she'd just be like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the sharks. Do you know what? I'm gonna M16 actually. Why not? Right, that's it. I'm taking out every single one of these heavy breathers. Is there someone up here? The heavy breathers are going down. Where are they? Move! For flip! Right, that is it. That is actually it it now done take a froggy boy while i'm at it where's your friend i see him there where's your oh i can't go this way where's your friend at he's gone Okay, I see how it is, but I will get you, sooner or later. Got him. Delighted. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but this is going really well. Really open. I didn't just jinx myself, but um... Yeah, it's going good. Uh -huh. And this looks gorgeous as well. I love, I love the detail they put on these ceiling tiles and stuff. It's really, really nice. Uh -huh. But yeah, as I said, I get these levels aren't as visually striking and impressive as some of the other levels in the remaster so i totally agree with that um but they're still uh -huh. they're nice you know they are updated and easily playable and all of that but yeah i hope i hope the the next tibet levels are a bit more done up maybe than these ones but I am in love. I'm in love with these. They look gorgeous. Okay, let's just go. Let's just dive in and get it over with. So I don't believe that there's any pickups pick here. Pickups, pickups, pick I don't know. <laughs> so I think we just swim through to the end and avoid the the eels but they're only small eels so it's okay 
and the eels can't be killed so there's no point in trying to in trying to harpoon them oh god well I got absolutely mauled there didn't I right I want to kill I want to kill these fish because I can kill them a bit much but do you know what that's how annoyed I am I can't remember how many there are are there two or three not sure oh look at him he's caught he's flapping around over there there 100% this would be Lara Croft's version of fishing <laughs> Like, I can imagine if she went fishing, she'd just bring an M16 and shoot the fish. <laughs> she'd be like, I don't have time for bait and fishing rods. What the hell? Oh, that's... That's the eel. Are you stuck? There we go. Come on, guys. Oh, would you stop? Okay, so they were stuck in the wall there. Guys, seriously, how many harpoons do I have? I've got six. Maybe I'll try it. Oh, would you stop biting me? Jesus. Oh, would you? Oh my God. No, that was a disaster. I need to reload. Right, okay, so harpooning is not gonna work. Gotcha. Completely bit my arse, but I got him. Come on then. Are you stuck again? Look, buddy. There, point. Right, okay, I'm sick of this. I'm gonna try and harpoon the last one. Got him. <laughs> Got him, finally. Oh, Jesus, that eel keeps giving me a heart attack. Right, one, two, three, all done. What did I do it for? I don't know. But it's done. <laughs> Okay, so that took 57 minutes. We got three secrets, 41 out of 41, and 35 kills. I don't know why I decided to make my life harder than it needed to be. I just did. I like killing all the water creatures. It just makes me feel better. <laughs> it just makes me feel better. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you as always to my amazing channel members, Zanier, Rianne, Adam Green, Michael, Dealey Boy, Jared, John, Alchemist Days, Alessandro Campos, Mrs. Veronica Cat, Axmania, Miss Blood Rain 6000, David Partington, JJ Dreamer 8, Jade Silcock, Jason Hellman, Hunter McDaniel, Carl Profix, Susie Kwan, CB, Brenda Adenio, Jen the JJ, Bin Ho, Sam, Josh Wood, a Seeper 888, Bill Gilroy, Jojo, Emerald Raider, Marcos Leandro, Carmen Delash, Alicia Jade Fisher, Halit, Matthias, Absent with Concept, Christy, Joey Pavelis, John Dreesen, JB, Michael White, Brad Gurr, Saint 318, Steve A, Seth Brown, Resi Raider, Lucy H, Vincula, and I would like to welcome new member, Quite Lazy. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel, and I will see you very, very soon in the next video.